I just made prime rib three different ways. And you might be shocked at which one's the best. Check out how I did it. Look at that. That's a big piece of meat. So we got seven bones. We're gonna go three little bones, two big, two big. Let's cook them three different ways. The first one and the biggest one, we're gonna cook like this. Get you a gallon of whole milk and we're gonna submerge the Dano's original. That's the green top. We're gonna pour it into a strainer. We got out the big parsley flakes and the mustard seeds because we don't want any big chunks clogging up our injector. We're gonna put it into our milk, get it mixed in. We get the juice and I'm gonna inject strategically right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, 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 there. And I'm just gonna continue to do this for the next five or 10 minutes. And then we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours and we'll see you tomorrow. Next up, we're gonna salt brine. In a mixing bowl, I'm gonna add a bunch of sea salt. And we're gonna add some large coarse ground black pepper in there as well. And we just start adding our salt mixture. Be generous with it, because we're gonna wash it off anyways. Now that we got that all salt and peppered up, we'll let that sit for 24 hours. So now it's time for the third one. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna sous vide. Check it out. We're gonna grab our big bottle of Dano's Original. That's the green top. We're gonna cover it graciously on all sides. Now we got it covered. I don't have a fancy vacuum sealer, so I'm gonna use a Ziploc. If you take this and drop it down in, it'll automatically vacuum for you and get all the air out. See that? We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so now we got our three prime ribs prepped. One in milk, one dry brining, one dry brining in Dano's. So let's see what happens. All right, you guys, it's the next day. And look at that bad boy. Been marinating for a little over 24 hours. Now we're gonna put our milk prime rib on the smoker. Let's make a butter. Dano's original, that's the green top. Get it mixed together. Now let's get our compound butter. We're gonna rub it on. We got it topped with our butter and we're gonna hit both sides with the yum yum get you some. Now let's go throw it on the smoker. And we're going on, grab my temperature probe, 300 degrees. We are at an internal temp of 120 degrees. Look at it, let's take it inside. Remember it's at 120, we're gonna wrap this thing and we're gonna let it rest for about an hour. All right, so it's rested. You can see I pulled it at 120 and as it sat in the foil, it's now gotten to almost 140. Let's cut into it, see what it looks like. I'm not even squeezing it. We're cutting right down the middle. That is so tender and juicy. It's crazy. All right, now we got the salt brined prime rib. First, let's rinse the salt off. Now it's time to season it up. We're gonna use a little olive oil. Get it? A little olive oil. Rub that in. And now it's time for the pop pop. Get it on all sides. We're gonna cut us up an onion. Throw them in our little Dutch oven. Prime rib, just about a half cup of these stuff. Put your lid on, and in the oven we go at 300 degrees. All right. It's only been two and a half hours and it's ready. 135. They call me Big Dan because I got a big pan. A little bit of oil. And we see it. And now we eat. But first, we're going to let it rest for at least 20 minutes. Maybe a little overcooked, but let's try it. I'm going to go in for a bite right out of the center. And you always got to have a little horseradish. It makes it better. That tastes like Christmas. Yum, yum, get you some. The third one, we're sous vide at 125 for about six hours. Six hours later, 125, now let's sear it. A little bit of oil. <laughs> now we let it rest for about 30 minutes. All right, last but not least, our sous vide ribeye. Oh, mm. right out of the middle. It's looking super tender. It's good, but it's got a little chew to it. Our milk steak there, none of these are competing with that. That is 100% the best way to make your prime rib 
marinated in milk for 24 hours, put some dandos on it. Yum, yum, get yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The results are in. The results is 100% the milk steak. I've tried to show you guys the milk steak for the last two years and it's never gone viral. Nobody's really paid attention to it. But I'm telling you what, hopefully this got your attention and got you willing to go out there, get you a gallon of milk and submerge your prime rib. Yum, yum, get you some. Hope you enjoy. Merry Christmas.